All right, so I now realize that I might not have given everyone the most information about uh, how to use VS Code necessarily. It was a bit rushed. I was hoping that most of you had a little bit of a past experience, but I understand most of you are probably starting from scratch. This is the sort of thing I started from scratch with, except it was a lot more complicated back then, and there wasn't any good tutorials. So I hope that these tutorials are helping you guys a lot. I can only post when I can post, so please don't be upset if I don't post every now and then. I have stuff I have to do in life, and I try and post when I can because I know it's helpful, and a lot of people are joining the Discord, asking for help, hanging out, so I'd recommend that. Also, make sure to like and subscribe if this has been helpful. I'd really appreciate that. So today, mainly going to be going over what Nodemon is, which automatically restarts your bot every time you make changes. Uh, we'll go over autosave as well. I know I've touched on that on some videos, but it's really a good idea for me to make this all in one video anyway. Separate terminals, um, control C in the command line so you can stop your bot, uh, terminal and font size, the spelling extension, and the up arrow for commands. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go over all those with you guys today. Just let me real quick get in the tutorial server. All right. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys how to use NodeMon. So npm i, aka node package manager, i for install, NodeMon. Go ahead and install it. Mine was probably already installed. And then we're going to come in here. Um, let's say let's set that to the command why not I'm pretty sure that's what we have to do so if we do a node start dev Okay, hold on a moment. Let me double check. Okay, I just double checked and you have to do dot slash index.js. Okay, one sec. Okay, so I forgot. It's actually instead of node start dev, it's npm run start dev, if this is what you choose it to be. And then what nodemon does is Every time you make a change to the file, it restarts your bot. So make sure you have autosave on. It's right here. You click on file, then you come down to autosave. All right, make sure autosave is on. Make sure this check mark is on. And then what that'll do is it'll make sure obviously A, you never accidentally close your code with a bunch of leftover changes you didn't commit, or you don't restart the bot with old code accidentally instead of it updating automatically. So it's really, I'd really recommend you just turn on autosave. And then, so now you can just do start dev with your command. And if you set it up in package.json and then nodemon dot slash index.js. Pretty simple. Just make sure you put a comma here or else this won't work. Uh, the next issue a bunch of people are having was spelling. So right here, code spell checker. Um, I'm not choosing it exclusively. All I know is it works. So I'd recommend it, I guess. Uh, it's a good idea to have some sort of spelling checker so that if you make spelling errors, it's not going to crash your code because it's, it's pretty good at checking for them. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good and I'd recommend it. And... So if you're ever running code in your terminal, you don't have to close the terminal. Just do control C, do it again, and it will close the whatever's running. And then, as I said earlier, when you press the up arrow, it cycles through your previous commands that you just did and down arrow goes back. So npm run start dev, there we go. It's running to restart anytime, enter RS. Boom, restarted. All right, 
Now let's go into settings. Go into settings here. And we go into editor font size. I have mine set to 20. That's because I have a massive monitor. You can set it to whatever you need it to be. And then if you look up terminal font, then right here you get your terminal font size, which is this stuff here. This is your terminal. So you can set this to whatever you want. And yeah, so I went over Nodemon. Oh, we can use a separate, a separate terminal if you'd like. So over here you have your terminals. You can press this button here. Boom, you have a new terminal. The reason why it's nice to have a new terminal is you can still do node deploy commands.js if you have new changes to your commands and that'll still run and it'll update your commands while the bot's still running instead of stopping the bot, running the command, restarting the bot. Nodemon, as soon as you save, so as soon as I make a change here, watch, you'll see it restart. Boom, restarting due to changes, starting, and then it says logged in. Super simple. Uh, I'd only recommend using Nodemon for um, for development. So that's why we did start dev as the command. And it will stop and stay off if it encounters an error that causes the code to crash. I'll be going over how to do error handling soon. But I think this should be rather useful. So autosave, up arrow for command, spelling extension, Terminal and font size, control C for stopping what you're doing, separate terminals for multitasking, and Nodemon. All right, hopefully this was a nice short video. Hopefully this helps you guys uh, on your coding journey. And yeah, join the Discord server, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.